Domain registration, what is it all about? How do you register a domain name? And what is a web domain anyways? These are the things that I'm gonna cover in this video. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do when you decide to build a website is to register a domain. In this video, we're gonna talk about domain registration and I'm also gonna share with you some of the tips on domain registration that I've learned over the years. These tips will save you money and frustration when you go to register your domain. I'm Tim from realwebsitehints.com and it's my mission to help you find the best and easiest ways of building websites. So what is a web domain? This is pretty simple. It's the address of your website. For example, the web domain for my website is realwebsitehints.com. Simple enough. But what you might be wondering is, why do you need to register a domain? Isn't that the same thing as web hosting? Well, your web domain and your hosting are actually two separate things. Your website hosting is a server computer that is connected to the internet. All devices that are connected directly to the internet have a numerical address or an IP address, something like 192.0.34.163. A number like this is pretty difficult for people to remember. So instead, we use a web domain name. You can register a web domain name and the record of that registration sits on special domain name servers all over the world. Part of your domain registration is to connect the domain name with the IP address of the server where your website is actually hosted. When you type a domain name into a browser, the domain name servers look up the IP address of your website hosting company or the server computer where your website is and then basically translate the easy to remember domain name like realwebsitehints.com into an IP address like 192.0.34.163. So as you can see, the domain name registration and where your website lives on a server or at a web hosting company are actually two different things. So you can have your domain name registered with one company and then have your domain registration point to a web hosting company or a server where your website is located. Most of my websites have their hosting and the registration with the same company. But some of my websites, I have the domain name registered at one company and my website hosted with another company. Registering a domain is a pretty easy process. It's as simple as typing in an idea that you have for a domain name and then adding a top level domain and then seeing if it's available. There are several different types of top level domains available today. The top level domain name is the part of your web address that comes after your chosen name. The basic top level domains are ones that you're already familiar with, like .com, .net, .org, or if you're in another country, something like .co.uk. There are also lots of other top level domains available, like .click, .kitchen, .travel, and hundreds or maybe even thousands of others. Personally, I still recommend going for the most common top-level domain where your target audience is. So for me, that would be .com. It's what most people are still expecting, and so it will be easiest for them to remember. Next, I want to talk about where to register your domain, and what you should think about when you're deciding on where you're going to register your domain. There isn't too much to domain registration. I think that most of the additional services that are offered by registrars are not really too important. But there is one service that I highly recommend, and that is domain name privacy. What domain name privacy does is to keep your name, address, phone number, and email address out of the general records of domain name registration. You might be thinking to yourself that you don't care who knows who owns this domain name. Unfortunately, it is a very easy way for people to send you junk mail, email spam, and unwanted robot sales calls. I've registered a couple of domains without domain privacy, and it seemed like it was a matter of a few days and I was already receiving all sorts of unwanted sales pitches and bogus offers for that number one spot on Google, not to mention just tons of junk mail. So which domain registrar should you choose? When I was doing research for this video, I looked at several popular web hosting companies and domain name registrars. I found that many of them would lure you in with low cost domain registration offers for the first year, which is not too bad, but then they'd want to charge you extra for domain name privacy. And for many of them, the cost to add domain name privacy was between $12 and $14, 
which is as much as it costs to register the domain name on its own. That means that with most hosting companies and domain name registrars that I looked at, if you want domain privacy with your domain registration, you would basically be paying twice as much after that introductory period, or between $24 and $28 per year to register a domain. I like domain privacy, and I also like keeping my costs down. So the best deal that I was able to find on domain name privacy was with DreamHost. And if you guys see something that's a better deal, let me know in the comments below. I'll include an affiliate link to DreamHost in the description below this video. That link will give you a discount on website hosting with DreamHost. And if you decide to get website hosting with DreamHost, it'll also provide me with a commission that helps me to keep testing and keep creating free tutorials on my channel and on my website. I don't think that the discount applies to domain registration. It's only if you decide to actually get website hosting with DreamHost. What I like about registering domain names with DreamHost is that the price of registration is a flat $13.95. Actually, I think that while I was filming this video, they were offering an introductory deal of $9.95 for the first year, and then renewals were $13.95 thereafter. And this price includes domain privacy standard. So right now, DreamHost is definitely my top choice for registering domain names. Most of my websites are actually hosted on DreamHost. I really like their base shared hosting plans for getting started. If you sign up for one year, it's $9.95 a month. And actually, it'll be a bit less for your first year if you use the link that's below this video. The base shared hosting account for DreamHost offers a great way if you're just starting out. Not only is it reasonably priced if you want to build one website, but the base account actually allows you to host an unlimited number of websites. Each domain name that you want to host with DreamHost also includes email accounts for that domain. It's a pretty basic email hosting service, but it's a great way to quickly and easily get started with email at your own domain name. DreamHost also offers higher-end VPS hosting and special WordPress managed hosting. What I did with my website was I started out with the base shared hosting plan, and then as my website grew, I moved to their higher-end DreamPress managed WordPress hosting. This helps me to deal with more traffic on my website, and recently they added to DreamPress the ability to use a premium subscription to Jetpack. If you haven't heard of Jetpack, it is a service and a WordPress plugin that is made by Automatic, the company behind WordPress. Jetpack offers several really important services and features for your website. Things like daily automatic backups, malware monitoring, comment spam protection, and website statistics. I only recently added Jetpack to my website, and so far my favorite feature is the website statistics. I was using Google Analytics before, but I found it kind of confusing and hard to read. But with Jetpack statistics, it shows you how many people visit your website every day, what content they looked at, and what websites linked to your website. It's all very easy to read and easy to understand. And of course, daily backups are crucial for any website. You don't want to lose all that hard work that you put into building your website. The Jetpack service is normally $9.99 a year, but it's included with the DreamPress managed WordPress hosting. So I think that that makes it kind of a fantastic deal. Anyhow, enough about DreamHost hosting. You can check it out for yourself by using the link below. I've been really happy with it, there are some other hosting companies that I really like, and if you want to learn about them, you can check them out in my video where I talk about my recommended choices for WordPress website hosting. I'll link to that in the description below, or you can click on the eye icon at the top of the screen. I hope that this video helped you understand domain registration. If you want help building your website, I have a complete free tutorial series on YouTube that I'll link to that will walk you through exactly how to build a WordPress website easily. It uses the best and easiest to use tools that I have found for building just about any kind of website. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. And for more tips and tricks for easily building great websites, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.